Hi everyone, welcome to History on Trial. This is Dr. Tracy McCarthy, psychologist, attorney, and educator. We are continuing our conversation related to the relationship between the Phoenicians, those who are known as Edom, and also those connections to Rome. We are going to be looking at the Hausa people, and we're going to look at some of the distribution of the Hausa people, a little bit about their history, and we are also going to look at the possible two faces of the Hausa people, one group being in Europe, and then another group largely occupying Africa. And here we have some information about the house of land and house of kingdom. It's indicated here that the origins of the house are not known. This is largely inconceivable. This is a pattern in terms of individual groups that are located along the west coast of Africa. There is this repetitive narrative that the origins are not known. However, when looking deeper into the origins of the groups, you can often find that there are linkages to Europe and that is also the case with Hausa and we are going to look at some immigration records from the 1800s to get a better idea of how this name links to the Holy Roman Empire, Italy, Germany. And here we have the root of Hausa is house. And you can see the family history is originally from Germany. You can see it says the surname house emerged through the German territories deriving from one of the several places named Hausen. The surname house was first found in the Rhineland. And here you see a distribution of the Hausa surname. And you can see that it is primarily found in Nigeria, followed by Poland, Indonesia, the United States, Austria, Germany, and the Philippines. Here we have the surname distribution for the root house. And you can see here that it is primarily distributed in the United States at 2,391, and then you see it uh, quickly followed by Germany, and then Austria and Brazil. And so what you have here is a dynamic whereby in Africa, the spelling is with an A on the end, and then in more quote unquote European spaces proper, you have the A missing and it's simply H-A-U-S. What is inconceivable, however, is the idea that the House of People or people of Nigeria, people of the world, have not made this connection between these surnames in Germany, in Italy, and the name of the tribal ethnic national group known as Hausa. And here we have some U.S. naturalization records, and this is from the time period 1791 through 1992. We're going to be looking at individuals who immigrated into the United States during the 1800s and the 1900s. So for this first record for a Hausa individual, you have Alois Hausa, and this individual comes out of Bohemia as the country of birth or allegiance. Again, looking at the Hausa surname immigration records, you can see that this is Maria Hausa and she comes from Italy. And this is an additional immigration record. This one is for Bert Bortolo Hausa. And this individual was born in 1886 and naturalized in 1932. This person has the country of birth or allegiance again as Italy. Here we have Giovanni Hausa. Giovanni Hausa was born on Valentine's Day, 1885, and was naturalized in 1941, and is identified as originating in Italy. Continuing on with the Hausa surname, we have some draft registration cards, and we see here a Frank 
G. Hausa. This individual, again, is coming out of Italy. This individual is identified racially as white and is identified as having a light complexion. And here we have the military draft registration card for Bert Hausa. Uh, this individual out of Italy, again, identified as white with light complexion. Here you can also see Giovanni Hausa's draft registration card, again, indicating that he is from Italy. One thing that this demonstrates is that you have a wide range and a dispersion, a diaspora of the Hausa people. And so you have a route that is in Germany slash Italy, and then you have a distribution of those same people in Africa, in the United States, and in a number of other places. But you see this rooting in Europe and also in Africa. What has happened, however, is that there has been a presentation to suggest that these groups have nothing to do with each other. Uh, what you will find on the west coast of Africa is a collective of entities, nationalities, ethnic groups that have been split off from their lighter entities that remain in Europe. And that is also the case with the Hausa people. Africa is said to begin in Rome and the Hausa example provides a great starting point for looking at this dynamic. Now there are a number of other groups in Africa that have similar roots and you will see similar dynamics and also what usually goes along with that is this sense of obscurity related to the history and the origins of the group with the group indicating a lack of awareness in terms of where they specifically came from. You can see here though that you have connections all over the world basically, but with roots in Europe for this particular group. What is noteworthy is that those who are considered Roman are also tied to Phoenicians and those who are Phoenicians are tied to the identity of Esau or Edom and this means the uh, son of Isaac, which is tied to Isaac's son, which is also Saxon. <laughs>